It's been a while since I worked on the old CRF. Been busy the last few weeks. Uh, today though, taking care of this dirty guy. Carburetor. When I bought it, it, uh, it ran pretty good. Um, choke worked and there wasn't anything leaking out of here. So, it is an 08. Thing looks pretty dirty. You know, who knows? Who knows if it's been cleaned or not. Um, but, best results. I'm gonna tear this thing apart. Hopefully there's no damaged seals or O-rings or anything and we can just put it back together and don't have to order any parts. First thing I'm gonna do though is clean this thing up because it is grimy. So forgive me if I uh, don't say the right name of something or don't know what something's called. I'm by no means a professional. All I know is that I can take apart a carb and put it back together. First thing, float ball access nut. Take that little guy off. Sometimes you can see crap down in there. There's really nothing in there for me. And then next, this screw right here holds on the idle adjustment screw. And then all the screws that hold the bowl. Me four of them here. And then carefully pull your bowl off here. Well, it looks actually fairly clean down at the bottom. So I'm gonna set this guy to the side and then take apart our little accelerator pump here. This little spring's gonna be sitting right in there. And then two important things that you need to pay attention to is, see how this little O-ring here popped off? And that actually sits down in there. Whoa. And then the o-ring that goes in this one actually stuck to the that part there, so just make sure those are in their, their corresponding spots. Alright, then with this little diaphragm here, I'm gonna pop that out. Just make sure that it's not cracked or there's any holes or anything. So from here I'm gonna toss the uh, plug back on there. And then we're gonna get a good amount of cleaner in here. So after you've sprayed a little uh, cleaner in there, got most everything cleaned out, then just uh, rinse it with some parts cleaner. And then I'm gonna run out to the shed, just blow out some of these. All right, it's all cleaned up. Now put her back together, make sure that O-ring is still in there. Your diaphragm, oops, put it in the right way. Make sure it's seated in there well. Don't forget your spring. And then your cover, make sure that the, uh, the O-ring in there is still in there. Check that O-ring in there, make sure that is still good to go. If so, you can go ahead and toss the plug back on. All right, so we've got uh, the bowl all taken care of now. You do go through all these jets up here. And, and uh, first step, take that float pin, push it out. And then you need to remove the float and needle there. Be sure you're careful and you don't uh, bend the float tang and the float tang is that um, that little metal piece right in there and it bends pretty easy so our needle this looks like it's in good condition but just check to make sure that that's still got a little bit of a rubbery feel it's not cracked or, or worn out in any way Next, we need to remove the main jet here. And then directly below that, the slow jet. 
Remove that. And then up top, I believe that's the starter jet is what's up top to the right. All right, so just on the uh, the main jet here, it was uh, just stuck to the needle jet, so main and then the needle there. All right, so lastly, we have this pilot screw. What you're gonna do is, before you remove it, take it, count the number of turns it takes to lightly seat it all the way in. I'll show you, should be roughly two, two and a half or something. There's half a turn, there's one turn. Uh, that's like one and a quarter, barely. I'm just gonna write that down just in case. Go ahead and screw that all the way out. And then with this, there should be, let's see, there should be a spring and O-ring and a washer, I think. And it looks like we got spring. And there we go. Just able to just kind of screw it in, screw it back out, wiggle a little bit, um, and then you'll get that washer and the O-ring out just in case you mess up the assembly. There's it right there. Spring, washer, O-ring. Just gonna take the, uh, the choke plunger here and clean it as well. It operated just fine before I took it apart, so um, never hurts though to open this up. All right, so with every single jet, you do just want to uh, blow some air through there. Make sure everyone is cleared out. All our jets are clear. Now, on the carb, what you want to do is run through uh, all these where the jets were and blow through Um, but with that, you also want to run through the uh, the hot start and choke as well. Clear that out. So first off, go ahead and put the uh, choke plunger back in there. And then with this, just make sure it works. Next, all the jets. So put that guy on there. I forget what it's called, but then your needle jet. Tighten that down, and with all these jets, make sure just not to over tighten anything. Make sure it's snug. And your slow jet. And then your starter jet. And then your main jet on here. So next, the old pilot jets. Make sure you got all your hardware on there. Spring, washer, O-ring, oops, wrong hole there. And screw that all the way in. Back to where it's, you know, firmly seated there. And then however many turns you counted before when you took it out, I think I'm just gonna go one and a half. Call it good there. Then you've got your float and needle here. Grab your needle, set on the tang there, just like that. For any reason you want to adjust your float level, you can do that. Then the cover. And go ahead and get this bad boy back on here. And last, this bracket. And 
before we wrap up here, we're gonna take a look at the jet needle um, on the top of the carb here. Want to remove these. That's pretty dirty in there. So I'm gonna run over to the sink real quick and clean all that out. All right, so we got the uh, slide area and, and the slide cover all cleaned out. I'm not sure why that was so much dirtier than uh, the bottom of the carb. The, what is it, the jet needle? Gotta get that out of there. And I think this is called what the jet jet needle retaining nut bolt something similar. This actually is attached. This looks pretty new, so I think we're good to go there. And just get that tightened down a little bit. Not too crazy. Reinstall our slide cover here. And uh, that is ready to go back on the bike. Hopefully cleaning out the top there makes the run just a little bit better. Um, and we'll have to maybe mess around with the, uh, the pilot jet there. Everything's cleaned out now, so all that really can do is help. Um, we'll have to wait and see when we put it back on the bike and it makes any adjustments. So just the carb cleaning is all I got for today. Um, there's my my motorcycle as of now. All these are cleaned up, all these parts here. And then I've got uh, all my plastics cleaned up. Bucket of parts there. I've just kind of been slowly cleaning parts here and there just because I haven't had a whole lot of time. But uh, we should be able to wrap this thing up within uh, the next couple of videos. The things left that I have to do, um, the motor, that's gonna be a big one. Next, I've got the wheels. I've gotta basically replace the front tire at a minimum and uh, go through, I think I got a couple loose spokes and as far as I know, rims are, are good. There's no dents, bends, anything like that. And the bearings are still good. Speaking of bearings, that's the one other thing that we gotta do is um, bearings on shock linkage. One of them's on the shock linkage, one of them's on the swing arm. So, kinda important. You know, aside from putting the bike back together, I can't think of anything else that, uh, that I have to do. All the parts are cleaned up and ready to go back on. So before long, we should have this uh, bike running great, looking even better. And uh, you know, if you want to watch any of the previous videos on this bike, the 2008 Honda CRF 450, then check out the playlist. I'll have it linked somewhere. And then, as usual, in the description, uh, I've got affiliate links. So click through to there if you're you're ordering anything on Amazon. And then also Patreon. Uh, link is in the description as well if you do want to support the channel in that way you can go ahead and click through and other than that that's all I've got for you today so we'll see you in the next one